We're based out of Owensboro, Kentucky. Always been a big fan of Halloween. Always had the interest in learning how to do the hobby. And then with that, started watching Monster Lab at a very young age and learned how to do all of that. Nice. So, so well, how young were you starting to watch uh, Monster Lab videos? Oh, I would say probably middle school age I started wow. watching it. So Middle mid school? Yeah, middle school age. I uh, started watching it. You Am know, I that old? The, <laughs> started watching those, started trying things here and there, started out with some half masks, then moved into the larger molds, and then, you know, moving mouth masks, and so this that all branched out into great. this. They're gonna take over the world! I, my background used to airbrush murals and then I started to airbrushing children when they were little doing air, airbrush tattoos and paint faces and then I would go to trade shows and I would say look at me look at me what I could do and I was picked up by a different makeup company and I was introduced to the haunt world and then as years went on I developed my own brand name because I realized there was a need for something different. And I met somebody special and launched Pro Air and dragged them into it. It's so fun though. <laughs>
inspiration for these claws was I saw a need for them. I saw a face off and claws were the last thing put on and they were just the plain acrylic claws and I thought, I think we need more to add to your character. Body out. This is a collaboration we did with Station 5. He does a, some really great scenic work. And so I'm producing the bodies for him and he's making these lungs and they're this really cool. Amazing making this man right here. You know, opening up Fangoria magazine and going, oh. I can order a head, you know. I can, you know, I can do this, I can be, I can pretend to be my own little, you know, effects guy. And I remember seeing you at a, at a Weekend of Horrors. You had a booth at a Fangoria Weekend of Horrors one year. I mean, a little kid and my mom you taking me right over. Side. Yeah. I met you when you were young. When, when I was a little kid, yeah. And you had dark, you were wearing like a suit. Yeah, yeah, I had dark <laughs> hair back then, yeah. You know, and like a, and a, like a businessman. I'm like, this is a businessman. Like, oh, and he's yeah. selling severed heads because you look like a businessman. Like, yeah. And it was so funny to me. I was like, that was in, it got to have been in the mid 80s, I guess, or late 80s. You know, I was like, you know, 10, 9, 10 years old. And then, is, it, is it haunts the theme? Yeah, because like when I go to haunts, I love nautical themes and I just don't see, I see the same kind of things over and over again. Yeah, yeah. You know, you I mean? know I'm with you. I, I always want to have a little humor a yeah. little bit in there. Because, yeah, yeah. You know, I think it makes it more impactful. I, you know, I think my favorite scares are the ones where people get scared. Yeah. That really what it was is I, I there was a magic shop that was close to my house, yeah, those were great. and so uh, you know I, I like magic and that kind of stuff. Do you like sleight of hand kind of things? And so I would go in there, and the, the guy kind of took a shine to me, you know, and, he's, and I was asking questions and that, and he'd tell me how to make a, you know, I'm like, how do you make a mask? What do you do? You know, and he's like, well, you do the latex, you do this, the clay, and all that kind of stuff. And then my cousin, who's helping me out, was coming full circle. He's worked at Not Scary Farm for 30 years. Oh, yeah. As a haunt actor. And he was one of the guys that developed sliding, like, as a thing that haunt actors do. Really? So, yeah. And so, like, when I saw him, I'm like, wow, this is even better because it's, like, the movies, but I can go to it and see it and be it and touch it, you know? And so that's how that kind of, it just developed into that. You know, it's a more that, that's that so amazing. immersive thing, yeah. And then, you know, working with Michael at, at, at Ghost Ride and, yes. and him bringing me into that. And that was a big influence. He was a mentor he's to me. Awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy and, and, and just my biggest mentor. So, yes. you know, absolutely.
I first saw that got me started in the all this Halloween greatness. Oh, really? That Andromeda? Yep. Yeah, really. So when I first started into all this stuff, I started in a haunted house, and I just that was fun, but. I love the mask. I wanted to learn how to make the mask and everything. So I started looking into how to make a professional quality mask. And this is the one that popped up. And then that's how I was introduced to distortion, everything that they do. And it was just amazing. It just went from there. about 18 times 18 times and that's probably wrong it's probably been a heck of a lot more than that because this is where the entertainment value is right here this section yeah but I tell you what your enthusiasm is what drives us to come up with this stuff that's the stuff that keeps us going How much is this? I mean, this is uh, an example of what the water base looks like. And so, um, ready for you? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Great. There you go. Anyone else? Oh, you guys are great. Get up straight for a minute.
that's what I was talking about you and your eyes for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're down here at McSlaughter Emporium. Vision, you see the vision. 